So I will delete these three users from here. Okay. And the next tool that uh, we can use actually is uh, this part, uh, scenes statistics, which is a kind of nice tool to use. If you just click on it, you will see a window like this. And it will let you know uh, the information you've exported or imported your uh, software from. Just as an example, let me just come here by append icon. Uh, just let me come here. The example, let me copy that. And then let me uh, paste it here. And then I will name it as Advanced Steel. And then I will open the format of NWC, which we have here for it. And we can see that here. And then uh, I will go on the last icon again. I mean statistics. And if I just put it here, I, as you can see, there are three files of Revit that we don't have any kind of information about them. But as you can see, uh, there, are, there is information about advanced steel here that the software has created for us. And the two last lines, as you can see, it's telling us that uh, some things, some formats from DWG uh, haven't been able to be uh, imported into the software. Uh, you know, sometimes when you import a file from another place, uh, it will give you a, an, an error for missing of tools. It means that you don't have that software on your system installed, and the software will show, will show you the tools like proxy. And actually, to remove this problem, uh, either you have to install the program or you have to use the object enablers that, I, that we've told you before. Or also you can just search uh, through internet about the things that you're looking for. For example, I will search for advanced uh, object, uh, advanced steel object enabler. Just let me search about that like this. And then you can, you can just search in Autodesk site uh, about that. Or even you need just uh, the, the file of Autodesk Plan 3D, you can just download it through the website that you need. Or as I said, you can just install an uh, application or software on your system that uh, to remove the problem that you can see as a proxy in the software. Uh, you know, because I have the uh, advanced still installed on my system, so we can see the tools that we need here. Just here that you see some lines they can't be considered by system or software. So now let me delete this example from here. Uh, the next thing that we can talk about is about is sheet browser that we have talked uh, before about that. So we don't just spend time a lot about that and you can use it by yourself. And actually as we said before, uh, you know Navisworks software can't open two files or th some files simultaneously. And then if you open a new file, the last file will be closed. And in these status or modes, we can actually go through sheet browser and then import a new format. You can just choose every format that you like. And by sheet browser, you can open the format or file that you need. For instance, if I go to advanced here and I just put and select NWC file, this is not important here and it, it was added just into this window. By double clicking I can just change the modes of the windows. And then by double clicking you can just choose the uh, option that you need like merging, like renaming, or even delete that I delete that now. Then I can choose the main file that I need.